Welcome back everyone. I'm summing up the year of the thrift finds in this top 10 thrift store find vid. Hopefully this goes smoothly. I am using the green screen so I know some of the shadows aren't coming out. So we're going to see how this is going to look. But we are getting to it straight off. So if you can, like the video, comment down below one of your favorite finds. And also subscribe to the channel if you're liking what you're seeing. So we're starting off with one of my craziest finds to date. A Versace silk robe. Found at the local spot for 11 bucks, Just sitting there waiting for me. My episode. 446 this started my january literal month of 2022 so it was an awesome find again this atelier versace considering that these usually go in the thousands because the quality of the silk and the design pattern alone if you look at the colors from afar i didn't see the full thing i literally only saw the sleeve and when i came up on it i looked at that tag and i knew good times were coming as i got more into the history of it i found out that it was from the mid 90s so this is a vintage versace silk robe and the quality was insane another one in the back a deeper we go we got the prada dress belt from my episode episode 457 an amazing find again the quality alone that it was just sitting there i still don't understand to this day why it was there but i did pick it up for 12 bucks and it did sell off immediately we had the serial number 202208 and again when you feel leather quality as prada gives the rest is history. You got another crazy high-end fashion find. Designer Gucci monogram backpack with the flap still attached. This one is still in the collection. It's from my episode 459. Again, they didn't believe it was somewhat real or they knew it was something because they priced it around 30 bucks. And with the discount, it would just went under that. And I was so happy to find it and literally pick it up. Serial numbers, everything legit check. Another high-end find at the thrift and for the low. Now to the next, we got another one from episode 459. 59. It is a vintage Marlboro jacket. This one is reversible and it was just amazing. I literally knew about the jacket. I've always wanted to come up on it. And I literally found it sitting there on a empty lazy day at the thrift on the spot, but the thing did sell off for 110 bucks. So I was super happy with that. A awesome flip. And again, it was too clean that I almost kept it. But again, sometimes money calls. Now we got another piece from episode 459. And this one is crazy because this is another designer piece. Gucci interlocking G's belt in hibiscus red. Everything checked out from the serial number to the build quality to even the interlocking G's with that wear and tear on it. I mean, I knew what I was looking at. I cannot believe they were selling it for $8.99. So I already knew they thought it was fake. And this actually happened to me numerous times where the thrifts think something is fake and they price it accordingly. And this is where knowledge is power and knowledge will get you there. Oh, you're saying you need this. You need this. You want to. Not to that, this one is a all-time favorite of mine and it's still in the collection, which is the center check hoodie in navy. This is a vintage Nike hoodie made in USA. I did do a video that I'll probably put a link uh, up here somewhere. Crazy enough, they do have fake versions of it. And this one is just amazing. Another one to find at the spot. Again, the local spot for me, coming in again on a lazy day, something I would never expect just sitting there. And I literally found it and that's what I said in the beginning of the video and into the middle of the video, it was just amazing find. That one was from my episode 464. Again, super happy. Now to that, we got my episode 455, a vintage Chanel patent leather loafer with pearl heel. And when I found it, I knew immediately that this was real, but still to this day, when the thrift sometimes sells stuff, I don't know what they're doing. Sometimes they just wanna sell it off. They wanna do it fast because this one was blatantly real. Full leather, real patent leather, real pearl inlay on that heel. That one sold off for another $161 shipped. And I always say, knowledge is power. I got another favorite because when I post it up on Instagram, again, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go check it out. Link is down below as well as that. The name is there. We got the 1997 Tamagotchi by Bandai collectible towel. I mean, these usually deteriorated and were used and used and used and you never saw the print. In this case, this one is pristine. My episode 485 and I was super happy to find it. Again, this is a big callback to my childhood. Hopefully it is to yours. If not, it is an awesome collectible piece. So when I found it for 399, I jumped on it. Now this one is a streetwear favorite that a lot of people were flipping out about. Was it even real? Did I place it there? What was the actual story of it? But yes, it is a FTP 
God Bless America or Godless America. This one was from my episode 487 and I was bugging because when I found it, I knew what I was looking at. I already knew this vest, this piece already. So it was a no brainer to scoop it up. It was even on discount from the $6.99 regular price. It was down to $4.99. So I scooped it up on the spot. The rest is history. It's in the collection. Now to that, we got another designer piece. This is a authentic Louis Vuitton toiletry bag. Now, I did my due diligence to legit check this one. It was amazing because, again, the thrift stores did not put the time, the effort, laziness, lack of knowledge, whatever you want to call it. They didn't do it and they were priced it at $9.99. Luckily for me, I knew on the spot from all the history and all the times doing this that when I saw AR0181, it meant made in France, which on the tag on the front, the zipper pull, it literally matched up to the leather patch. The stitching was right, everything. So it was made in France, August of 2011. And it just came out as legit. That one was in my episode 489. Again, I keep saying is that knowledge is power. So learn up, do everything you can because you have a free platform to learn off of. YouTube, internet, you have everything at your hand. Know what you're looking at. When you take the time and effort to learn up on date codes and everything that goes along with it, just the build material alone. If you know about build material, it'll get you somewhere far. And there we go. We have expired the top 10 thrift store finds of 2022. I hope you enjoyed it. Every piece, every find that I have relived and experienced have been an awesome literal experience for me. Because every time I find a new piece or every time I need to find or legit check something, it's more memory, it's more information that I'm logging into my brain because this is what it's all about. Nothing beats experience. And in this case, the experience is so widely out there. The thing is, are you taking the chance on something that you find and you don't know? This is where you need to learn up. Do your homework, it'll pay off. So with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that somebody because more reason coming. This was Fit from Fresh from the Flea.